Australia is the world's sixth largest country despite being located on the world's sixth smallest continent. It is sandwiched between the Indian and Pacific Oceans and the Southern Hemisphere. There are several different names that have been given to Australia, including the oldest continent, the last of lands, and the last frontier. These descriptions are illustrative of the fascination that people all around the world have with Australia, yet they leave a lot to be desired. Most of the rocks that serve as the basis for Australian landforms were formed during the Precambrian and Paleozoic periods. However, the ages of the cores of all continents are approximately the same. The age of much of the continents is certainly impressive when viewed in terms of simple physical characteristics. On the other hand, the history of the landscape in extensive areas in Europe and North America have been profoundly influenced by events and processes that have occurred since the end of the most recent ice age which is roughly within the past 25,000 years. Scientists in Australia can use a more extensive timescale that takes into account the great antiquity of the landscape on the continent. Today we will look at the strangest discoveries in Australia that shock the world. Number 1. Ancient Egypt Hieroglyphics The term holy engravings are where the word hieroglyph comes from. In the beginning, the Egyptians only utilized hieroglyphs for inscriptions that were carved or painted on the walls of their temples. This particular type of graphic writing was also utilized on tombs, sheets of papyrus, wooden boards coated with a stucco wash, potsherds, and pieces of limestone. Not only are hieroglyphs found in locations other than Egypt, but not all hieroglyphs can be traced back to Egypt. There was a contentious discovery of hieroglyphs in Australia in the 1970s. These hieroglyphs came to be known as the Gosford Hieroglyphs later on. This discovery caused quite a ruckus among historians and archaeologists for a while as it was a contentious matter that was a topic of a great deal of back-and-forth argumentation during that time. Despite this, investigation has yet to be successful in establishing either the genuineness of the hieroglyphs or their connection to ancient Egypt. Number 2. Jose Perania This castle in the middle of the rainforest was the dream of an ambitious Spanish immigrant who left for Australia in 1913 with the intention of building a life for himself and his fiancée, who was still living back in Spain at the time. He was employed in a location that was not his native country for more than 10 years. After beginning his career as a laborer in the sugarcane harvesting industry, he went on to acquire, improve, and eventually sell cane fields in order to amass a great fortune. After spending the previous 11 years building his riches, he returned to Spain in 1924 to claim his bride, only to find out that Matilda had married someone else in the meantime. After that, he married her younger sister. In 1925, the newlyweds sailed off for Australia with joy on their faces. This undeveloped plot of land in the woods next to a waterfall would be the happy couple's future house. In 1929, while the couple was on their honeymoon, he came across it. Because the Perinea family was determined to make their childhood fantasy castle a reality, they laboriously constructed it by hand over the course of the next decade. Because it was the perfect place for weddings and other social occasions back in the day, and the perfect place for a day trip with the family, the legacy is still around today. Spooky yet beautiful. Plan to get married here? Think twice. Number 3. Pyramid in the Ocean A large natural pyramid is located around 350 miles off the coast of Australia. This pyramid is one of a drowned continent's few remaining dry vestiges with a stunning height of 1,844 feet above the water in the Pacific Ocean. Ball's Pyramid is the tallest sea stack in the world. The monolithic natural structure was created over years of erosion from an ancient shield volcano approximately 7 million years ago, and it is currently the only known habitat for what is considered the rarest insect in the entire world. Number 4. Shell Beach on this breathtaking beach that stretches for more than 50 miles and is made up of billions of tiny shells that may be discovered up to 25 feet deep, there is not a single grain of sand to be seen anywhere on the surface. Shells are found in a piece of sand on a select number of beaches around the world, including this one. Shell Beach is unlike any other beach you've been to since the entire beach is made up of shells that were shed by the Shark Bay Cockle. You are not the only person who is clueless about what that is. It's a marine bivalve mollusk that lives on the shallow seas off the coast of Western Australia and can be found in those waters. When the waves are calm, the sea at Shell Beach transforms into a kaleidoscope of the deepest emerald and cobalt blues and greens. Because of the high concentration of salt in the water, even individuals who are not particularly skilled swimmers will have an easier time staying afloat. 
This phenomenon, which is known as excessive salinity, is advantageous to the continued existence of several species. Because of this, there are plenty of cockle shells in this location. In fact, in the early 1900s, the shells were quarried, cut into blocks, and used to construct several historic buildings. Due to the fact that the volume of shell matter produced here is so large that it becomes so compressed into a distinct type of limestone, the shells were used for this purpose. Looks kind of similar to the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Number 5. Wave Rock Wave Rock is an impressive rock that has been there for 27 million years and is composed of both gray and red granite strips. Wave Rock appears to be an enormous wave that is 15 meters high and is about to shatter. Additionally, aboriginal rock drawings can be observed in the vicinity of Bates Cave. Wave Rock is 15 meters high and 100 meters long, and it looks like a tall wave poised to break. Its creation is one of the many curiously shaped rocky outcrops in the area. It has been a source of fascinations for geologists and the general public for years. Granite has been eroded into the shape of an inselberg at Wave Rock over the course of millions of years by the action of wind and rain. The granite was gradually transformed into the deep gray, red, ochre, and sandy striped wave that can be seen now as a result of the forces of erosion. The incredible colors of this rock are due to minerals being washed down on the rock, which causes the granite to be eroded. Number 6. Gnomesville Gnomesville is, without a doubt, one of the most recognizable locations in all of Western Australia. What? You want to know that? Over 3,000 gnomes have settled in the enchanted town of Gnomesville after migrating here from various parts of Australia and the rest of the world. Make a plan to spend a few hours strolling among the villages and glades full of jovial, mischievous, and sentimental gnomes who are playing cricket, flying planes, climbing logs, and hanging out in trees. I never want to spend a night here. Never in a million years. Number 7. The Longest Fence in the World The Dingo Fence in Australia is the longest fence in the world and one of the numerous world records that Australia has. The Dingo Barrier Fence covers a total of 5,531 kilometers, beginning in eastern Queensland and continuing all the way to the coast of South Australia. In order to prevent rabbits from eating crops, the barrier was built between the late 1800s and the early 1900s. Dingoes posed a threat to the animals, particularly the sheep. Thus, it was later renovated to protect them. An ongoing dispute in the scientific community has been sparked by the dingo fence. Specifically, the question of whether or not the exclusion of dingoes has any negative consequences on the environment. Dingoes are able to keep smaller predators like exotic red foxes and feral cats in control. This, in turn, is beneficial to the native species since it lowers the overall predation burden that is placed on them. Dingoes have the potential to control feral goat populations in addition to those of native herbivores like kangaroos and emus, all of which, when present in large numbers, contribute to overgrazing. Dingoes may also control goat populations. Number 8. Forest in a Shipwreck An old military ship that was put to use during the Second World War can be found in the waters close to the harbor in Sydney, Australia. Its primary function was to provide supplies to the U.S. forces that were actively involved in combat in the Pacific Ocean. The name Floating Forest has since been given to this location. The vessel in question is known by the moniker SS Ironfield. It was constructed in England in 1911, and in 1972, it was discovered abandoned in the shipyard debris located in Homebush Bay. It would appear that nature has selected this specific wreck out of the many that have been left behind in this area as the location to house one of its most beautiful wonders. The ship is now nearly covered in plants. This has caused it to become a source of interest for photographers and a tourist attraction for tourists from all over the world. The rusty hull of this lovely floating forest has recently been given a second chance at life, despite the fact that it has been through some trying circumstances in the past. It has come to indicate one of the great examples of how nature has a way of teaching us a lesson, by leaving its imprint on even the most stalwart of ships. This example has come to signify one of the great examples of how nature has a way of teaching us a lesson. Number 9. Tunnel of Glowworms This subterranean passageway, which was constructed in the 1880s, is referred to by its official name, the Metropolitan Tunnel. After years of soot and smoke building up within the space and making it dangerous for trains, crews, and passengers to travel through, it was closed in 1915. Its function was short-lived because of this fact. In order for one end of the tunnel to be converted into a reservoir, it was sealed off completely. The filthy garbage that had been piling up outside for years eventually shut off the north door as well. 
The entirety of the passageway was nearly obscured by a dense screen of verdant vegetation. Before it was drained and partially cleared in 1995, the entire passageway was completely filled with water that had ceased to move. This is absolutely something out of a science fiction movie. Scary but beautiful. Nevertheless, throughout this time period, the tunnel wasn't entirely unoccupied. The glowworm colony that moved in and made its home on the roof is one of the largest in all of New South Wales. It was discovered on the roof. The insects give the stagnant, murky air the appearance of being illuminated by a constellation of blue-green stars. Number 10. Oldest Axe in Known History It's about the size of a thumbnail and might look like any old piece of rock. Still, scientists say it is part of the oldest axe ever unearthed, which was produced up to 49,000 years ago. They found it in a cave in South Africa. It was discovered in Australia, further undermining the assumption that Europe was the birthplace of technology. It reveals that people developed complicated tools not long after they set foot in Australia. This is significant because Europe has been considered the birthplace of technology. The piece was discovered in a cave in the Wingena Gorge National Park in the Kimberley region of Western Australia back in the early 1990s. Still, it wasn't until very recently that it was studied. Recent research and dating results indicate that the object in question is a piece of a cutting edge of an axe that was used between 46,000 and 49,000 years ago and would have had a handle. The date at which people first arrived in Australia is currently thought to have occurred anywhere between 50,000 and 55,000 years ago. Number 11. UFO Spotted in Broome If you can believe it, a video of the town taken during a midnight storm was uploaded to the Facebook page of the Western Australian Police Force. This video can be found among hundreds of images of stolen motorcycles and alcohol that have been confiscated that are posted on the Twitter feed of the Broome Police. The video captured on the surveillance camera shows a lightning striking a tree and a piece of a parking lot. On the other hand, a peculiar apparition appears in the sky and then vanishes into the corner of the screen, almost shortly after it appears. It was said in jest by the Broom police that they weren't alone that night and that it could be a UFO. However, many conspiracy theorists and extraterrestrial zealots regard this as a legitimate UFO sighting. Conspiracy theorists and zealots believe that life exists in other worlds. However, many who are knowledgeable about filming technology, such as director J.J. Abrams, believes that the phenomenon known as a lens flare is the most likely cause of a bizarre object that was seen in the sky. Ufologist Scott Wearing asserted that seeing the triangle light up caused him to re-evaluate his previous beliefs and persuaded him that the object in question was most likely an alien spacecraft. There is a glowing formation in the lower right corner and if you look closely, you can see what appears to be a car backing up. Since the car's actions are consistent with the glowing formation, this explanation is generally accepted. Number 12. The Oldest Intact Rock Painting Researchers in Australia have uncovered a rock painting of a kangaroo that is 17,300 years old. This makes it the oldest piece of rock art ever found in the country. The artwork measures 2 meters in length and was painted on the roof of a rock shelter using red ochre. It is unusual, according to researcher Damien Finch, who was a pioneer in the development of the mud wasp dating method, to uncover mud wasp nests both on top of and underneath a single piece of artwork. However, the team collected samples of both kinds to determine the earliest and latest possible dates for the artwork. According to the researcher's calculation, this makes the painting the oldest complete painting ever discovered in Australia. The Kimberley region of Western Australia, which is famous for its Aboriginal rock paintings, is where it was discovered. Number 13. Pterosaur Scientists have recently discovered two new extinct flying animals. They were discovered in Outback Queensland's burnt red clay, and it has been shown that the bones of those are pterosaurs. The scarring on the bones would suggest that one of the pterosaurs may have actually been bitten by a crocodile because they are among the earliest vertebrates known to have evolved powered flight. The bones of a fossilized pterosaur are thought to be from the early to mid-Cretaceous period, or roughly 145 million years ago. In 1991, a field mission led to the discovery of the first bone, a fragmentary femur. Around 2006, the second partial femur would be discovered, more than a decade later. The Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum and Melbourne Museum made the announcement about the discovery. The Winton remnants of these creatures are extremely rare because just four of these ancient flying reptile species have ever been discovered in Australia. Australia is home to the largest known flying reptile with a wingspan of approximately 7 meters and a previously unknown species. 
Academics are overjoyed by these unexpected discoveries because they can provide invaluable evidence of how prehistoric reptiles interacted with one another millions of years ago. Number 14. Boomerang Attacks 800 years ago, a man known as Kakutja died when a deadly blunt object struck his forehead. Recently, Kakutja was found very well preserved in New South Wales, shedding light on the aboriginal conflicts of the time. Fighting was a major part of Kakutja's life. He had two other head injuries that had partially healed. The wound that killed him was a 15-centimeter gash across his head that resulted from being hit by the sharp edge of a wooden boomerang. Boomerangs were long used by aborigine tribes. As for its effectiveness, Kakutja serves as a chilling example. There is very little knowledge of aborigine conflicts in the past. Still, Kakutja at least shed some light on certain tribes' vicious lethal tactics. Guess not all boomerangs fly back. Some just stick to your enemy's head. <laughs> Number 15. 7,000-year-old discovery In an encouraging sign that aboriginal artifacts and landscapes may have actually been preserved offshore, archaeologists have discovered a 7,000-year-old site submerged along Australia's continental shelf, the first of its kind. Their discovery is outlined today in the journal PLOS One. At the end of the last ice age, about 12,000 years ago, when glaciers melted and sea level rose, waters inundated one-third of Australia's habitable land as part of a project called Deep History of Sea Country. Jonathan Benjamin, a professor of maritime archaeology at Flinders University in Adelaide, led a team that searched for the submerged sites off of Maruhuga, also known as the Dampier Archipelago, a dry and rocky coastal region in the northwestern of Australia. This area has a wealth of inland archaeological sites, including more than 1 million examples of rock art. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on the UFO that was spotted in Broome? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.